My name is Buck Dillinger. I served in the American Special Forces, climbed the summit of Everest, and crossed the frozen oceans of the Arctic. Now I'm in the urban terrain. Thousands of hikers and climbers come here every year, and each year, 200 end up in serious trouble. I'm going to show you the skills you need to survive. Hello, mates. Today I'm being dropped off at a remote location. Dangerous, treacherous terrain. I don't know anything about it except its urban area. My name's Buck Dillinger, and this is Survivor Dude. Seems I've just made my exit out of the car. It was kind of dangerous. I survived some minor scrapes and bruises, but I'll be okay. I can't tell exactly where I'm at. It's really hot. It's like a like a modern day Serengeti. I'm a uh, I'm gonna go down maybe. Maybe try to find some water, maybe some fresh fruit and berries so I can get some nutrients in my body. Perfect. Look what we have here. This is what we call, uh, well, I don't really know what it's called, but it's edible. The roots are very lush. They have a lot of vitamins and minerals. Great for, uh, you know, a long day of, of hiking. That's horrible, that's horrible. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going, we'll, we'll keep going until we find something else. Be very, very quiet. Very, very quiet. I'm going to, uh, Going to, I found some food. I'm gonna try to get it. It's one of the, the smallest primates around. They're called uh, lizards, I think. Here we go. Come here. Come here, you little booger. Oh. <laughs> Great, uh, great source of, of protein and, uh, ah! You, God, God, son, of a, son of a bitch, I lost. I lost. Just goes to show you how dangerous this modern Serengeti can be. I, uh, oh, dance! You can't, you can't let your guard down at all while you're, while you're out here. It's a dangerous environment. Everywhere you go, you gotta watch your back. Animals, they attack. Just like you've seen the lizard. He about took my finger off. He's lucky, very lucky, because that was dinner and I'm so mad. That would have at least lasted me for two days. Oh, come on. It's a ravine. You barely, I'm so surprised we came across one of these. This is some sort of uh, perimeter. Uh, definitely don't want you getting inside one of these. Uh, but I've been going on about an hour now with no water. So we're gonna have to jump this fence and, uh, and uh, risk it. If you're ever stuck in the wild and you know you need a, you need a place to uh, get water and you come across one of these ravines like this. Don't get water unless 
it's absolutely necessary. There's a vast risk with disease. Uh, there's a lot of things in these waters that can harm you. And if the river is flowing fast enough, you could be swept away. And that's it. There's a story of, of a woman who came across one of these. She was stuck in the wild for three days, I believe. Came across a wild ravine. And it just got done raining. She tried to get some water and she was swept away. They never found her body. But I'm a professional. I'm about to show you exactly how to do this to, uh, to catch some water because I'm absolutely dying of thirst. So here's how you do it. gonna save me on my journey. I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking long distance and I need to conserve my energy for later. Alright, let's get out of here. Now when you come down here and the water's real wet, it's gonna make it that much harder to get back up the bank. Same method I use coming down, same method you use going up. This takes a little longer, but it's well worth the water. Oh shit! Fuck up! Next, exactly what I mean by dangerous. Okay, I'm making my way back up. Got a firm grip on my on my water bottle. I'm just absolutely dying of food. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Look, look. You see, I can tell that this is one of the the frogs. Yes, yes. I love, I love when I find food and water all in the same area. It's great. This is gonna make for a, a great meal, substance, until we find civilization. I just gotta, give me a little booger. How we do that. Okay. Absolutely horrible, horrible taste. But I know my body's gonna appreciate the nutrients later. Yeah. <laughs> 